Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'm just going to briefly show you how to work with sessions within Zen Framework 2. So I don't actually have a concrete use case for doing so. So I'm just going to give you some code examples here and show you how it works. So I'll go in the applications index controller. And in here, I'll just add some data to the session. So to add data to a session in Send Framework 2, the easiest way is to use something called a container within the send backslash session namespace. And as you can see here, you can pass in the name of the namespace that you would like to add data to. By default, it's called default, but you can override this with your own. So for example, I can add user data to a user namespace within the session data. So let's do that. And because this container extends the array object class, then you can actually just add data by setting them as properties. So let's just make one called name equals and I'll enter my name here. And container, I'll set a property named website. And I'll add the link to my blog, like so. And that's all you need in order to add data to the session in Zen Framework 2. So what I'll do is that I'll go into the blog module and I'll open the index controller. And actually, I'm just going to access this data here. So again, I'll create a container within the Zen session namespace. And it's important that I add in the same namespace here that I did before. Now I can just retrieve the data. So I'll say name equals container and I'll use the name variable that I used in the other index controller. And I'll do the same for the website. So container website. So I'll just add a breakpoint here and I'll go into the browser. So now I'm on the front page. I'll just refresh this page. So now the session data should have been set and I'll navigate to the block module. And as you can see, I have reached my breakpoint. And if we take a look down here, you'll see that I have successfully retrieved the values that I set to the session. So these values were set within the index controller in the application module. And now I just access them in the index controller in the blog module because they were set to the session. So they are persistent across requests. Now, if you would like to know the inner workings of how this works and why this works, I actually wrote a blog post about this some years ago, actually, on codingexplained.com. So you can go here. And I'll just go in the send framework category. Let's scroll down. Here you have a lot of useful articles about various things in send framework. I guess it's on the second page. Let's see. Here we go, using sessions in send framework. And here you have an article explaining how this works internally in send framework. So I encourage you to read this article if you're curious to learn more about how sessions work. Otherwise, that's all for this lecture. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next lecture.